for those of you, I have a lot of students over the years who've really been interested in tuning their own guitars. So I'm just gonna walk you through. I just did a truss rod adjustment on this guitar. It's a new guitar to me at this point, relatively new. I've only played it a handful of times. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to like it, that the action's kind of dialing itself in, and uh, I need a, a truss rod adjustment, so we're going to have to um, just do a quick tune-up here, just be sure that everything's in tune. So I've got my trusty, what is it, an E? Yeah, it's an E. tuning for and you've heard that that E was in tune so I'm gonna just start with we could use the old finger one on fret five you know finger on fret five on the lower string and then now that this one's in tune we no longer need to touch it fret five on the next on the lower string tunes the, the next string to it now that one strings in tune we no longer touch it right and then we'll just go ahead and fret four on the G string to tune the open B, right? And then fret five on the high E string to tune the high E. We're gonna zip through that. I'm assuming you know that. If you don't, let me know in the comments. We'll talk about that in great detail because tuning is one of the most important things that we can master on the guitar. The next thing we're gonna do is not use a finger on the fretboard or as little as we can because anytime we depress the string, we add a little amount of tension on the string and therefore increase its pitch by you know, whether it's a perceivable amount to us or not at the moment is is, uh, is questionable. I'm gonna use fret five harmonic right over the fret on the low E string, and then fret seven. It's in tune, pretty close. And then fret five and seven. I'm gonna tune those two up. And then five and seven, I'm gonna tune those two up. I'm also gonna check, you know, the 12th fret harmonic against the seventh fret on the A string. 12th fret against the 7th on the D string, 12 against the 7 on the G, right? And when we get up here, I use fret 7 on the D string and harmonic and then fretted 10 on the B string just to get those octaves and those, you know, um, those notes are the same, right? That harmonic note on fret 7 on the G is the same as, the same pitch as the 10th fret on the high E string. There should be the exact same pitch, and they are for this particular session. I guess that's about it for today. Like, share, subscribe, and do the uh, obligatory stuff that we would love for you to do. Watch this video over here, and until next time, happy picking.